Hi, it's Deneen, and I know it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube making any videos, but I have been on YouTube watching videos, um, and a, a few of them have been really edifying for me, and people coming on, expressing um, and giving encouragement as we see the day approaching, the, the, the blessed hope of our return of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, I'm excited, and I wanted to do my part, too, to come out and hope to encourage. Now, I it's my prayer that the ears that need to hear this will hear it. Um, it's a little bit of my testimony too, but I just wanted to, to come on and say, uh, I was a lukewarm Christian. Uh, I'm not in any way proud of that, but it, it, it is the facts. And um, I was born and raised Catholic. And I believed myself to be a good person. You know, I I went to church and I um, wasn't out there willfully sinning. I was trying to be the best person. And I honestly believed. I mean, I thought there'd be no way that a loving God would turn me away at Heaven's Gate because I'm a good person. <laughs> and um, I'm here to say that uh, I've come to repent on that. When I talk about repentance, I'm telling you that I changed my mind about it. I changed my mind about my sin condition and changed my mind about why I even needed a, a savior. Because you see, I, I didn't see myself as a sinner because I wasn't willfully out there doing it. But what uh, what you come to, to learn and understand when you, when you read the Bible, like when I'm reading in Matthew, that um, God's standards are very high. Uh, he says that even if you look at somebody with lust, that you have committed adultery. If you harbor hateful feelings towards someone, you've murdered them. So, God's standard, again, is very, is very, very high. So, it, it's what you need to believe on Jesus Christ. It's, it's why um, he came down and died on the cross and was buried and rose again on the third day to, uh, to save us. It, so that he took the wrath of God on himself. He took our punishment. And when you believe on that, you're covered by the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, I guess as a as a Catholic, I, I wasn't really I wasn't really connecting all those dots. I was just priding myself on on being good and going to church. And so, if that is you, um, I'm going to say. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, sleepy church. Uh, do you not know what hour it is? <laughs> it is getting late in the game. I mean, time is going to be wrapping up here. We need to be ready for his return. So I, I just want to put that out there as uh, some encouragement for you. Now, I believe there are, like, really good people in the Catholic Church. Like, loving, well-intentioned people. But... God said that his people perish for a lack of knowledge. And I believe that there's a lot of people in the Catholic Church that just don't don't see uh, the false doctrines that are there. And the Lord has brought me into a season um, to show me, you know, things and uh, has been gently kind of pulling me away from that. And uh, I'm not saying that you can't be saved in the Catholic Church because it was certainly the vehicle that got me there. So I think the point is, is that it's that you get there, is that that you do uh, get saved. You have to profess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, is um, is who He is. That He died on the cross and, and rose again. And uh, just want to say also that I've been on YouTube watching you know a lot of videos I was hungry I'm hungry for the word right and uh, I'm reading going through Bible studies and, and just like reading my Bible and uh, when I was lukewarm I attempted to read the Bible but it just didn't make sense to me I was uh, confused and frustrated by it and I, I closed it and, and hadn't opened it up in years so uh, and I'm thankful that I've, I've gone back to that because that is where the spiritual truths are. And I've, I've had to pray, you know, that the Lord uh, help me. And then I, and I pray for the wisdom and understanding and uh, that I can get revelation from it because I, I want to know him. I want to know him more intimately. 
and that's the way you do is, is you read his his living words in the Bible the Bible's living so yeah I was on YouTube and uh, you're watching all these videos and uh, you just got to be really careful that you don't go down a bunch of little rabbit trails because I'd be listening to one and hearing one thing out of one ear and then I'd be listening to another and hear another thing out of another ear and they seem to be in direct contrast with each other and I never knew these things like I'm still kind of new to all of it like I've been saved for 15 months so I'm hearing like things about lordshippers and one saved always saved versus repentance and I never even knew all that existed but I I know the truth when you strip it all away that the truth is really easy I mean even a child can believe it and understand it it's what Jesus Christ did he died on the cross to save us from our sins and that what what saves us is our faith faith and believe in what he has done it's his righteousness that is imputed on us okay I was uh, subscribed to this one channel as a young guy and he seemed on fire for the Lord and I thought that was really cool so I started listening to him but I heard him say that the Lord is looking for that spotless bride without wrinkle and then we need to stop sinning and we need to be perfect and I'm like I can't be perfect <laughs> it's not my righteousness that's going to make me a spotless bride without wrinkle it's Jesus Christ's righteousness imputed upon me that makes me a spotless bride without wrinkle and um, I, I just think like wow like some people are just not getting it <laughs> but I'm so thankful that I've been brought to that level of knowledge and truth and, and hope that I could um, be successful in, in sharing it with others and that others can come to that that knowledge of truth also it's it's by grace that we've been saved it is uh, the gift from God it's a free gift and we can't earn it and um, no matter our works you know our, our works are, are are great that it shows evidence of the Holy Spirit present within us but it is not what saves saves us so um, just wanted to, to tell you that yeah I, I feel so blessed that I've been brought into the fold you know after 15 months uh, when I look back at my life and and where I'm at now and when I first became saved I had no idea what my life would look like 15 months down the road but I'm here to say that it was the best decision that I'd ever made it has been amazing and I just want to encourage others to do the same because it will be the best decision you ever made. Come to Christ. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up on that note. And I wish everybody a great day and, and send my love to all.